Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this board ready. So go ahead and plug it into your computer. And then go over here to your beta flight and connect. And then go to your CLI right here <clears throat> and I type a dump. And then scroll to the top of your dump and you'll see what <clears throat> firmware is on the board. This is Betaflight Omnibus. 3.1.7 so this one's updated already up to date so if it isn't go ahead and highlight this the whole thing and then uh, copy it and save it into I just use notepad <clears throat> That way you can look at the originally what was on it in case you need anything from it. Now I went ahead and uh, took my QX90 and took the LED settings since we're going to use that light here um, on this one and just cut and pasted it in here and then you have to type save when you're done and hit enter so it's in there we'll see if it worked so anyway when you're done with that you can go ahead and disconnect to exit out and then if you're not up to date then you need to go over here to firmware flasher go ahead and unplug your board and I usually use a pair of tweezers to jump the bootloader and um, first you want to go in here and it's already got omnibus since I just did it and then the newest one 3.1.7 and then you hit load firmware <clears throat> and then on this board There'll be some bootloader pins right there. So I just jump them. I want to make sure you're not touching anything else. But you jump them while you're plugging it in, which is always fun and interesting to do. Oops, I already plugged it in too far. Or you can solder them and unsolder them if you really want to. I didn't get it. If your blue light comes on, you didn't get it. So you just got to try again. I think they can be a real pain in the butt. Let me find my tweezers that ain't all bent up here. Okay, there it's solid instead of blinking. And then you can see on your computer, 
you got this DFU. You got to see that. So, and you don't connect. <clears throat> so then you go ahead and hit flash firmware. And a bar will come up and load it. I've already flashed it here, so it no need to flash it again. So let it finish that process, and then you'll exit out of here. But first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and unplug your board after you flashed it, and then plug it back in so it pulls back up as the USB. See, we got USB up here again. So then we can connect it. Then you can go in and start doing your setup, which I will kind of go through that as we go through this build. Um, but you have to set up your ports and, and everything. So I'll get onto that <clears throat> here in a later video. We'll go ahead and go into getting the board prepped the rest of the way. It's all updated, so now we can go ahead and um, solder it in and get it mounted. And I, I want to go ahead and um, tin all the pads and all the wires, get everything prepped, and, and then we'll start putting it in.